Hello, Max Smith here, and I will be giving my thoughts from what I've heard so far about the Nevada caucuses. Now I'll come back and talk to you about my thoughts on the Republican primary in South Carolina. But well, let's get started with the Democratic caucus in Nevada. Roll it! And we're back. So, yes, if you've heard by now, Hillary Clinton has won the Nevada Democratic Caucus. But not by much. Only like about five point lead right now, as it stands with 88% of the precincts reporting him. So, it's not a huge win, but it's still a win. So, basically, she tried to get some more momentum. Yes, the blacks came out a little bit stronger force for her there. But her record being for the African American community isn't as strong as we were led to believe. I'm not saying that any of these people out there should vote for her. The African Americans, if that's a preference, go for that. But her record isn't as strong as we were led to believe. There's all this other stuff that's been coming out, man. So yes, she's got a good record with the African American community, but not a strong one as we all were led to believe by her campaign. Where on the other side, Bernie Sanders actually got arrested, arrested for standing up for African American rights. Have you heard about any other candidate that actually got arrested for standing up for African American rights? Not that I know of. I haven't heard of that from any of my online places I get my online news from, digging that up. It could be there, it's just it's hardly likely that that's possible. But, but again, I'm not telling you how you should have voted if you watch this, you were African American in Nevada. That's Purely your choice. But don't just go on name and like, oh, this and that and blah, 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 blah. Actually listen to both sides' arguments very carefully. Before you make up your decision for the remaining states out there. Next up on the Democratic side is South Carolina. So really, Look at both their websites. Look at all their plans in detail. Actually read them and then weigh the pluses and minuses and really go at it back and forth, back and forth. Because you can only hear so much uh, talking on TV to where you kind of go, eh? So I really think this is what happened with the African American community is not, I'm not saying they're not educated, I'm just saying a lot of them just weren't paying enough attention to both sides. Or if they were, they just were so shoved in the direction of Hillary, they like, okay, let's vote for Hillary. Even the heart maybe said, we want to go with Bernie Sanders. Hey, these are just guesses of what happened tonight or this afternoon, I should say. Now, once again, I cannot speak for these people. I'm just going by what I've heard in the media from the Young Turks and other online sources and just the trends I've been seeing through tweets and other stuff. So, I mean, it's good for her that she got the African American vote there. He got the Latino vote there. So, it wasn't a, you know, like she won by 20 points. No, only about five points right now, which is still not a win. Pretty much a tie in my book again. And it keeps the Bernie momentum going, people. Because remember, she was trying to get that 20 point lead back in Nevada. It was supposed to be a state that was supposed to be a sure win for her. 
a Sherwin. So she's trying to put out this big burny fire, man, with a little tiny garden hose, but failed. She failed, and he kept that gap there by five points, people, which still pretty to tie in my book. Even though she won by five points, the margin of error is so small again, it was just a tie. So to me, I'm calling it a tie. Now, once again, these are just guesses, educated guesses on how these people could have voted. I'm not saying this is how they voted. I'm just going from what my experience and from what I've heard. I'm not speaking for the people, I'm just speaking hypothetically. These are hypothetical scenarios that could be the truth. They're not, they could be. So don't get all mad saying, I'm rah, 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 rah. Because I'm not saying this is the truth. I'm saying it right now. This is not the truth. This is what I think is the possibility of why more African Americans voted for her. Because they didn't give Bernie Sanders enough of a go, or their heart was saying go with Bernie Sanders, but then they hear all these other people say, oh, no, 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 the friends, the friends, no, 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 go vote for Hillary, vote for Hillary. So they got to go with the crowd. I'm just saying this, these are all possibilities. No matter what 100% true or false. They're just all possibilities. So don't get mad at me. I'm not speaking for them, that community. I'm not saying what they did was wrong. I'm just saying these are possibilities that maybe her message just got through them a little bit more than Bernie's. So, South Carolina, it's your turn, man, to keep the Bernie momentum going. When it's your turn, man, let's keep it going. Because they said, oh, South Carolina, man, is a surefire state for Hillary Clinton. Remember, this is a guy who doesn't play by the typical election cycle uh, rules that everyone else plays by. He's gone to southern states and go, and people say, hey, don't you know that they are, this is a primarily conservative state? He goes, yeah, so, so, so what? If they're primarily conservative states. He doesn't care, man, because he's going, hey, I'm, gonna, I'm putting my message out there everywhere. Liberal states, conservative states, it doesn't matter because guess what, people? Believe it or not, there are tons of so-called conservatives that actually truly believe in everything that Bernie is standing for. So he can go to a conservative state like Texas and bring in a crowd. Literally bring in hundreds upon thousands of people. And he literally, they had to have Literally, when he went to Texas, man, they had to have an overflow place because that's how many people wanted to see him from, and not just, and that's, you know, from that small part of the place of Texas, man. So if that many people show up like in Houston, where this took place, think about Dallas, man, or any other city in Texas that's considered supposed to be a very conservative state. So this whole notion like, oh, they're conservative, so they're not going to go for Bernie Sanders, is not true. It is not true at all. I guarantee you there's probably a lot of Republicans that were at that rally that Bernie Sanders attended. They're like, hey. And they go, oh, that's, they say, oh, that was political suicide if you go there. Pretty much conservative. Don't waste your time. Don't waste your egg. You're putting your eggs in that basket. Huh. Interesting. I mean, look what happened. Bernie Sanders is like, mm, 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 mm. no, sorry. You can say what you want. You can disagree with what you want. But I'm not going away because my message is strong and getting stronger every day, people. It started off as a little fire, 
got too big size of by fire when more people know about him, and now that pretty much the entire country agrees with him and knows about him, it's a big inferno, man. And it's so hot that both sides are feeling it. So, any of you already have voted, uh, please take my poll. I have a little card. See the little eye right here? Right up here, or over here. I mean, it's over here. Sorry, I get distracted. It'll be up in one of these, uh, in, up in the corner. Just wait for it to pop up. A uh, little eye. It'll drop down, and you could take a poll right there. You'll look at your poll. You take your poll. So let me know on the Democratic side if you're Hillary or if you're for Bernie. Well, that's all I got to say. This is Max saying once again, I am not speaking for the African American community. I'm just thinking of possible scenarios of what led to them coming out in more for supporting Hillary Clinton over Barry Sanders. That's all. They're just possible scenarios. So don't get all up in my grill. If you do, fine. But do it in a respectable way. I'm going to tell you, I'm not telling the truth. I'm not saying this is how it went down. I'm saying it's just possibilities of how it could have gone down. So this is Max was saying, until next time, thanks for watching, and this has been another edition of The Awesome YouTuber. Peace out.